Okay, so um, now it is time to actually start progress monitoring my student. I've set up the, the schedule, I've gotten all the goals put in, and it's been two weeks, so it's, it's time to go. So um, I know that it's time to assess because my um, next score box says assess today. So I'm go ahead and let's just click on the, um, the top line here. There are a couple neat things here I want to show you. So right now it's just showing me one week here. Okay. Um, what I want to do is I want to see all weeks of the schedule. I'm going to have to press go after you push all weeks. And what that's going to do is it's going to show me the entire school year um, progress monitoring for this student every other week. Now, um, something that I really like about this is it randomly generates the probes for the student and this is going to um, you know change as my goals for the student change as the student does better and better um, ideally so um, what I can do is I can go ahead and look at these and have these ready to go have copies printed out for the student ahead of time you might want to do all the probes for um, you know, a month, which would basically be two or three probes, and have them in a student's file, or you might want to do your entire class and have those all ready to go. Um, this, you know, sort of keeps track of that for you. Now, um, when it's time to assess, so um, when I get to September 3rd, a little blue label will come up and it'll say assess now, like it does here. Um, so for example's sake, I'm going to go ahead and um, use this assess now just so I can show you. Now I put in my survey level assessment so these scores are here already and when I press assess now um, I believe it will ask me if I want to um, basically write over those scores which since this is a demo I guess I'll go ahead and do that. Okay, see, now the student has a score for this measure, which will be overwritten if you proceed. Now I'm going to go ahead and press OK. This should not happen to you. You should, you know, you will have waited two weeks and it'll be time to progress monitor and this won't come up. So here you can see that the probe is here and if you've printed this out, um, you know, in advance, you'll go ahead and, and see this here. So. Um, you can give the student a copy and then you can go ahead and score this right um, on the computer. So the way that you do that is um, you'll just press start timer and then um, the student will begin. So you probably want to say, um, I think it'll tell us right here, there's a little script. So um, you can read to the student, when I say begin, start reading aloud at the top of the page. Read across the page. Try to read each word. If you come to a word you don't know, I'll tell it to you. Be sure to do your best reading. Are there any questions? And then when you say begin, you can just press this little handy start timer button. So let's go ahead and start the timer. Okay, so now the way this works is um, the timer's counting down up here. We can listen to the student read and then the words that they miss, we just highlight them here. So um, as the student, if the student skips a line, we can go ahead and mark that as well. Okay, so let's say my student does, you know, has, has a couple issues, but is doing pretty well. So as the clock runs out here, Okay, so um, as you can see here, it says that you know the time has run out. You need to select the last word attempted. So I'm going to say that my student 
probably got to, um, let's see, right about, oops, we have to click OK. And then we'll go ahead and, and mark where the student got to. OK, now AIMSWEB is automatically saving the score. OK, and um, obviously I don't have a student here doing this with me, so this is pretty high for my student. Um, but you'll do this with your, your student and you'll get uh, authentic results. So we'll just click OK and get booted back to the main page here. Okay, so um, right here I, it shows me the last score for my student. And you'll just go through and do this for each of the students that you're progress monitoring. And, um, it, uh, I, I encourage you to um, use the um, online scoring because it, it just seems a lot more functional to me, but um, you certainly don't have to. You can type in the scores if you like as well. Uh, again, as always, if you have any questions, please contact me via email or phone. And hopefully this answers a lot of your AIMSWEB questions. Thanks.